happy summer solstice plant friends. I hope you have already listened to our spring awakening meditation. And now I greet you again, the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Let's work with the summer energy to call in more exciting things into our life. plant friends. I'm Maria, your new best plant friend, and I'm here to help you care for plants successfully and grow more joy in your life while doing so. Most of these videos are all about plant care on this channel, but we are playing around with working with the earth's energy because we're caring for these plants that go through seasons and we go through seasons too. And I think it's really fascinating to think about how to honor our external seasons internally. So I hope you watched the first video that we did that was all about our spring awakening, our new beginning. And my hope is that you're meeting us again, that you've had a ton of growth in whatever the new beginning you were stepping into. And now we sit with the summer. So the summer is all about light. So if the spring is all about action for this new beginning that you want to call in, the summer is all about patience. Our plants have grown through the spring. They continue growing through the summer before the autumn harvest. Maybe your tomato plants have a lot of foliage. They haven't gotten the full tomato yet, right? It's about a lot of trust waiting for that fruit to set, waiting for the flowers to fully bloom. It's also about light. For me, light obviously means positivity, but it's the longest day of the year, right? So it's about celebrating the light within you, the sun within you, and maybe calling forth more of it. Maybe that's shifting your perspective on something, changing your attitude. But in this season of summer, how can you lean in to patience? How can you enjoy the patience Keep taking the action, keep putting the work in, but kind of take the foot off the gas for a minute and just relax and settle into this new lifestyle or new thing that you're calling in and also do it with a positive intention. So once again, like the spring meditation, this is going to be in two parts. We're going to do a breathing exercise. We're going to breathe through our chakras. And with each one, I'm going to give you a affirming mantra that you'll say on the second exhale of each one. And then I'll do a brief visualization and we will wrap it up. I'm trying to keep these short for you so you can just do them in the morning or something or do them before you're going to sleep at night. So let's close our eyes and let's breathe. And on the exhale, I want you to visualize that green vine at the bottom of your spine. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, visualize the green vine winding down through the earth. It's penetrating the top of the soil beneath wherever you're sitting. And it's moving through the different layers of the earth. And it slowly turns from a vine to a cord, moving through the top layer, moving through, you know, all, all the different layers of the earth until it gets into the center and it locks into the earth's core, the source, the, the renewable source of loving mother nature energy that is available to us at any moment. And now that we are connected to the earth's energy, we are going to breathe it in with every inhale into our body and then exhale whatever isn't serving us. So first we're gonna breathe into the root chakra breathe in. The root chakra is right at the base of your spine. You're going to breathe in, pull up that earth energy, hold it, hold it, hold it, and exhale. When you exhale, if you need to make a sound, that's great. That's very productive. Now you're going to breathe in and you're going to say, I am safe in the stillness of this moment. And exhale. I am safe in the stillness of this moment. Exhale. Now we're gonna breathe in into the sacral chakra, which is right below your belly button. So breathe in, pull that gorgeous earth energy right below your belly button, breathe it in, breathe it in, hold it, hold it, hold it, and exhale. Make sure you exhale everything you have in you. Now you're going to breathe in and say to yourself, I revel in the sensation of the light. And exhale, I revel in the sensation of the light. Next up, we're breathing into our solar plexus. That's in between our belly button below our chest. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And exhale. Exhale anything you don't have, anything you don't need. And now we're going to breathe in again. And you're going to say, I can continue this unfurling. Exhale. I can continue this unfurling. Next up, your heart chakra, where all your love lives. Live. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. This loving earth energy, hold it, hold it. Imagine it swirling all around your heart and exhale any non-loving thoughts about yourself, anything that doesn't relate to love, exhale it. You don't need it. Now you're gonna breathe in, 
breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. I love the way I am unfurling. Exhale. I love the way I am unfurling. Next up, you're going to breathe into your throat. Breathe in that beautiful earth's energy, the truth of your throat. Breathe it all in. And then exhale. Ha. Ah. Since it's your throat, maybe put a little bit of noise to it. Ha. Ah. Now, breathe in. I will speak whatever truth is necessary for me to unfurl. Exhale. I will speak whatever truth is nexus necessary for me to unfurl. Next up, your third eye between your eyebrows. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Feel the earth's energy swirl around your face and then exhale. Exhale what is whatever is serving you. Breathe in again. I know the weight is worth, worth it. Exhale. I know the weight is worth it. Last but not least, your crown chakra all the way to the tippity top of your head. You're pulling in from the center of the earth. Breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in, all the way up, 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 up to the top of your head. Feel like your head is about to explode with this amazing energy of mother nature and exhale. Ah. If you need to shake and move around a little bit to really let it release, that's great. And then you're gonna breathe in one more time. I trust the harvest is coming. Exhale. I trust the harvest is coming. I trust the harvest is coming. Now we're going to take that intention that we're calling in that we already visualized the beginning spring of, find it, whether it was that seed that had turned into a seedling or whether it was the tree that has already formed the beginning bud tender leaves and put it back in your heart. And now we are going to celebrate the magnificence that the sun can impact if we allow it to. Once again, go back to whatever the sun means for you. Is it positivity? Is it a different perspective? Is it a mentor that you've called into your life? Whatever has shifted to allow for the seedling of your new intention to unfurl. I want you to visualize the sun bathing your seedling or tree in radiant, renewable, unlimited amounts of sunlight. Tilt your head a little bit up to the sun. Open your chest a little bit, almost like you are the leaf leaning towards the sun. And smile while doing it, right? This might feel a little silly, but it feels really good. And visualize the leaves getting larger. With every new leaf set forth, it's a little bit larger. It's a little bit more strong. And the original tender leaves are now starting to be reinforced. They've gotten waxier. They've gotten thicker. They're more stable. And this plant that, or tree that you have been tending to over the last three months is growing taller and taller and standing prouder and stronger. Its roots have grown deeply into the soil. It is stable beyond means. The rains of the summer come and it can stand its own ground. You can stand your own ground. It keeps moving, right? It keeps on keeping on. Whatever had started is continuing and is still working. And the buds have not formed yet. Can you find a moment of gratitude for this exact state of this little seed that has already turned into a seedling, that has already turned into this beautifully larger plant? Can you have so much gratitude and say, thank you. Thank you for doing this work. I know we haven't seen the harvest yet, but I trust it's coming. And I know we have it in ourselves because that little seedling or that tree knows exactly what to do, exactly how to call forth the fruit, fruit, how to have a bud turn into a leaf, a pine cone form, whatever type of plant you're visualizing, you can run with it. And I want you to get to the point right before harvest. This is a really beautiful part of the plant. The plant is not yet in its showiest form. It's not yet in its largest part of service, right? Service to the earth, service to others. But it has fully done its job and set itself up for success to step into that new phase of harvest. It's hard work. It's consistency. It's depth. As below, so above. You have to grow deep roots in order to grow tall shoots. 
So say thank you so much for this journey. I thank you so much for this journey. And I look forward to our autumnal meditation, which will involve the harvest, finally. I hope this meditation helped you and that you continue growing joy.